Hello and welcome to The Sun Down Under, the podcast from the sun coming to you live from Australia's Gold Coast. My name's Ellie Henman and I'm the Sun Showbiz News Editor. So finally, we've got our jungle king, Sam Thompson, was crowned last night. It was a really emotional moment. You could see he was just so overcome. And the fact that Sam did so well because he just loved the show. And I think at the start, people thought, oh, he's coming across a bit irritating. And But they, they sort of realised that that's just who Sam is. And he's not annoying. He is just like a Duracell bunny. And he just goes and goes and goes and, and never stops. I mean, thoroughly deserved. I think it was very sweet when he sort of sat and talked to Ant and Deck and just said, you know, thank you to people. You've made this little boy's dream come true. And you just think Sam is just a huge fan of the show. He never thought he'd get booked to go on it. He did, and it was a hugely, hugely special moment for him. I just, I feel I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. You've, you've, I've, um, I've dreamt of doing this show and being invited on for, for years and years, and you've just made a boy's dream come true. Oh, so, oh, thank you so great. much. Well, I really appreciate well, it. Well, Sam, this is it. It's time to crown you our king. Josie, would you do the honours, oh, please? <laughs> What I really enjoyed too was seeing his relationship with Tony really start to blossom. And obviously, Tony, when they were about to announce it, Tony was just like, it's you, Sam. It's you, you've won. And it was just really, really sweet to see their bond. So Nigel Farage, he was out third, but his team are reeling with the results. So I was with uh, Nigel's, some of Nigel's lovely team yesterday um, chatting and they were absolutely so confident he was going to win. And I said, you know, I, I said, it's, it's really tight. I said, he's done incredibly well. And they were like, no, absolutely adamant he's win. Now, I don't think they'll be happy with third place, but ultimately Nigel's done really, really well. Like he said when he was talking to Ant and Deck, he didn't think he'd get this far. And the fact that the public have voted for him shows it's very popular. And now he's obviously going to launch his political career off the back of it. I mean, this sort of swell of ground support Nigel's had shows that People do like him, and there are people that absolutely loathe him. But he's done incredibly well, and I think if you're getting to the third place of, you know, Britain's arguably most popular reality TV show, you're doing incredibly well. So watch this space for Nigel. Uh, God, he could be bloody Prime Minister next. I'm absolutely thrilled. Thrilled? <laughs> OK. <laughs> no, look, I mean, not everyone likes the stuff that I've campaigned for uh-huh. and stood for over the years, but... At the end of the day, whatever you think, you know, we're all entitled to an opinion. I'm a human being like anybody yeah. else. And I hope this programme has showed that I'm as human as anybody. You know, things I'm good at, things I'm bad at. But I've mucked in. I've thrown myself into camp life 100%. A lovely Danielle Harold. She led the pack yesterday. She went out for a big afternoon out at a really trendy uh, beach club just around the corner from the Marriott. As she was there with Rochelle, Marvin, but she did seem to catch one person's eye, Pete Wicks. Uh, so not many people will know Pete, but he is best pals of Sam Thompson. Uh, so I'm sure, God, they'll be painting uh, painting the town red tonight. Uh, but yes, so Danielle and Pete appeared very cosy. I mean, she's very, very gorgeous. So I'm not surprised he had his eye on her. Um, we caught some, you know, someone saw them sort of cuddling, looking very close, having a real sort of lark around. Uh, Fred was there. He was on top form. He was just buying trays and trays of shots. Same with Nick Picard. Uh, so I think there would have been a few hangovers when they headed into the jungle this morning to go and find out if Sam was gonna gonna be the winner. But now they've got the rest of the day, hair of the dog, back out in the sunshine. Why not? <laughs> <laughs>